They finally woke me up. When we think about the future of Xbox, we think about removing barriers. For me and for the fans and for the developers, Xbox has always meant innovation and the latest technology and delivering the world's most powerful console is something we absolutely want to do. This is the console that developers asked us to build. They wanted a console that had no boundaries, had no limitations. And that technology component to us is what we really need to make our vision and our art come alive. When I saw the specs of this thing, I'm like, wow. I got true to like, they're really going for it. They're not holding anything back. So we gave the SOC six teraflops of computing capability to be able to handle 4K resolutions. Gamers are going to get the most powerful graphics processor that's been put into a game console today. It's going to make developers happy. It's going to make gamers happy because they're going to get a very powerful GPU out of it. Holy the highest shit. res, the best frame rate, no compromises. So, uh, you get 4K gaming, true 4K resolution. <laughs> I can't wait to see what oh shit with all that horsepower in the box. We can render at 60 hertz. We can render fully uncompressed pixels. These are the highest quality pixels that anybody has seen. And what we're able to do now is bring that to the console player. My job as a game maker is about immersion. It's about to put you into an experience. Okay, so you live they're trying to put Sony in a fucked up position, and it sounds like they might be able to with the hardware. We can get a lot more performance, and I mean, I mean a lot more. Like with this, we get to much greater and better game experiences as a result. We're moving Fallout 4 to VR, and to have a console that can support that at the resolution and speed that we really want, I think it's going to be magical. This console is 100% for you guys. We read the articles, we read the reviews. It's the We Heard You console. So that doesn't mean that we are leaving the original Xbox One behind. Every huh. single thing that we've done for Xbox One will continue to work. We add to the capabilities of the Xbox One and the Xbox One family without forcing gamers to abandon all the games in the community that they love so much. These two systems are uh, part of the same family. The games will work on both. The accessories work on both. But the box we're building is incredible. It's going to have eight CPU cores, over 320 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. Shit! Six teraflops of GPU power. It's a monster. <laughs> oh! 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 Holiday next year? Sony better fucking ultimately the next step in delivering our vision for the future of gaming beyond generations. Oh god. When it ships next year, we believe it will be the most powerful console ever built. With 6 teraflops of power, <laughs> this is hardware built specifically to lead the console industry into true 4K gaming and high fidelity VR. Oh god. True 4K visuals without sacrificing quality. Premier VR experiences without sacrificing performance, putting greater graphic fidelity in the hands of the world's best creators. Xbox One, Xbox One S, and Project Scorpio will all be compatible. All Xbox One games and accessories will play on all three. No one gets left behind. I told you, Brian Rabbit. I told you this is going to be their next thing. Not no Xbox and a half. Today, to give our developers and partners the ability to take advantage of that capability now, in order to realize their visions for the future and deliver even more great games for you. Next year is going to be insane. Six months from now is going to be nuts because we're going to actually see what this thing can do. Beyond generations, a future full of choice. A future where we can all play without boundaries. Thank you. The games were underwhelming, but that that announcement fucking psyched me. Fuck, what it it's about to get insane. Cause Sony was gonna show the um, PS 4K up until they started hearing rumors about Scorpion. Then they pulled it back. They're like, we gotta go back to the drawing board. Oh, God. Innovation begets innovation. 
This is what gaming is all about. This is what it's all about, everybody. When one developer or one company says we're going to try to innovate and try something new, everybody's got to try. You know, you don't want to get left behind. You don't want somebody else to take all the market share. And this is what's happening. This is making a better climate and a better place for all of us to play our games. And I'm super happy about it. The conference wasn't bad. Not bad at all. You know, some of the games I'm not hyped about. But overall, I gotta say that it was a pretty, pretty decent conference.